Question for Linus. What happened to your Lambo? Did you ever do anything fun with it before getting rid of it? Loving the show, and we'll try to be at LTX next year. Okay, for those of you who don't know the story of my old Lambo, which was a 2003 Honda Civic that ended up with a pink paint job, then ended up with green racing stripes, courtesy of uh, Nikki V and the Channel Superfund team, and then ended up looking like absolute garbage, courtesy of the attendees of LTX 2018. Yeah. That was not the goal. <laughs> yeah, I didn't expect people to just dump bottles of glitter glue inside the car, uh, but they definitely did do, I actually did drive it for months afterward. Just, I don't know, it's he still red. He would constantly have little bits of glitter on him, and I'm not kidding. It was at, like for months. <laughs> it was um, rough. The reason that ended up at LTX 2018 was because I showed up the night before the event was supposed to open, having not really seen anything, and started just kind of freaking out about how um, light on content it was. <laughs> With that said, I don't want to throw the team under the bus. It, they, they had very few resources. They had very little time. In fact, it is largely the same team that is still planning LTX. So they are, can, can, I, can we just get like a round of applause for... That's what I'm talking about. Obviously, these guys are capable of putting on a proper expo. We just needed a bit more experience, a little bit more resources. Hey, look, it's Colton. Ignored. <laughs> he and, uh, and his wife, uh, Sturf, have, that's her real name, by the way. He and his wife, Sturf, have worked tirelessly, uh, Chase, I just want to give a massive shout out again to the team. This is absolutely incredible. Um, anyway, back to LTX 2018. I show up the night before and I'm like, oh my goodness, one of our main attractions is Ivan's collection of old GPUs, which is basically just some outdated graphics cards on a on table. A table. <laughs> um, we wow, are they're screwed. here and not on the internet. Like, we are actually screwed for tomorrow. People are going to ask for their money back. Uh, so I came up with the idea just to have some kind of interactive activation. Uh, well, first, I, I like kind of altered some of the booths and kind of went around with the team. It wasn't just me. We all brainstormed together to try to level things up a little bit. And I was like, okay, um, um, okay, what if someone just hits the dollar store tomorrow morning and we'll, we'll let people interact with the famous Lambo. They can like help decorate it. They could, you know, write their names or where they came from. They, they, went, a little off, they went a little off the rails with that, covering it in glitter, splashing it with paint. Not a, not a square centimeter of it was left untouched, inside or out. They even covered the windshield. I had to hang around for like an hour after the show to scrape off my windshield so I could drive home. Um, so anyway, long story short, LTX is way better now, which is good. And um, that car was pretty unpleasant to drive. Like, the seat upholstery was crusty. <laughs> it was actually really bad. Yeah, like, it, kind of, it would kind of poke into you through your shirt. Yeah. So what ultimately ended up happening to it, we had wanted to do something cool. We wanted to do, like, uh, like enter it in a demolition derby or something like that on Channel Super Fun, or, or, you know, blow it up with a tank or do something like that. But unfortunately, the costs associated and the red tape associated with getting any of that done just made it unrealistic. You know, it turns out to participate in a demolition derby, you are actually, for liability reasons, no matter what waiver you sign, not allowed to say, yeah, no, it's cool. I'm not going to reinforce it or put a roll cage in at all. I'm just going to go for it. I'm going to pilot it with my Logitech 710 controller, and whatever happens, happens. <laughs> They will not let you do that. Yeah, that would have been really implosive. Yeah, so we ended up... <laughs> <laughs> so we ended up just um, taking it to like a, a, a recycler and they presumably recycled it or you know, took parts out of it that were, that were needed for other 2003 Honda Civics and hopefully its, its pieces are living a, living a better life, living a better life somewhere.